Derek Gagne went through some of the toughest moments of his life defending his country, but it's this hometown hero's positive outlook on life that has his story worth sharing. When you look at Derek Gagne, you can see that nothing holds him back. From earning a scholarship in high school to play basketball at UW-Madison, despite standing just under six feet, to following his dream and joining the Army National Guard at just 17. My stepdad's brother was died in Vietnam, so I heard stories about it and made you feel good, even though, you know, what happened, but you still felt good about it, made you feel like, that's what you're supposed to do, and it's something I want to do since I was little. In 06, while going to school, playing basketball, and finishing basic training, Gagne learned his military police unit would soon be deploying to southeast Baghdad. Oh, well, that's what I joined for. I didn't join to sit at home and sit on the sidelines. I always wanted to be up front and do what needs to be done. Just four months into deployment, Gagne's life would change when he and his team were hit by an energy force projectile. Blinded, seriously injured, and unable to tell the gravity of the situation, Gagne jumped into action to drag his team leader to safety. They were the only two to survive of the group. So you have to th take your mind off and think about something else and then start feeling once you got a safe point of view of what people and what things you have and then start feeling and trying to diagnose what's up next. Two Purple Hearts and now an amputee, all at the age of 19, but it never stopped Gagne. In your mind, I should be able to do this, should be able to do that. And it was a lull for like three to five years of trying to sort life out. I always figured humor is the best way to get through everything. You know, the old Patch Adams quote, you know, laughter is the best medicine. Well, that's what I did. And if I can't make fun of myself, no one else can take that from me then, you know. Gagne did sort his life out, volunteering counseling at the VA, got into car racing, and back to a hobby that he had before the military, riding motorcycles. Gagne was recently gifted this bike from the nonprofit Hogs for Heroes, a group aiming to help vets find therapy through riding. And for Gagne, that's exactly what it is. Motorcycling always has, because it helps with depth perception, helps me free my mind and have time to think. When you're on the road, you're focusing on driving and staying safe, but it gives your mind some time to relax and think and process without any interruption. Gagne lives his life without limits, and he wants his story to help others do the same. Just talk about it, because no matter what, the more you talk about it, the easier it is. People say it's a cliche, but it's not. Yeah, the first couple times, it doesn't feel like it does nothing. Then afterwards, if you keep talking, keep expressing your feelings, actually letting the feelings out, no matter what they are, anger, hurt, whatever, just do it. It'll help no matter what, and trust that someone cares. And we thank you for your service, Derek. And don't forget, if you know someone that you would like to nominate for our Hometown Hero segment, just send an email to WFRB, hometownheroes at wearegreenbay.com. For Local 5 News, I'm Caitlin Corbett.